less than a week from election day and the biggest voting bloc, young people have the potential to turn BC politics on its head. The leaders are taking notice. People are thinking about leaving this province. One in two youth can't see a future by staying in British Columbia. Conservative leader John Rustad appealing to the frustration among young people and his message resonated with some. It's like that stat that Rustad mentioned, like one of two youth is like thinking of getting the hell out of here. Is that you? <laughs> because, um, yeah, I'd say it's a thought that's come to my mind. Um, so definitely it's like, why would you work in a place where you can make this much and the cost is is this much. Rising costs, especially related to housing, are a major factor, says this pollster. It's affordability. They can't afford to pay the rent. So, you know, the 28-year-olds are living in their parents' basements because uh, they can't afford a place. Their, their wages don't support that. And while young people have historically voted more progressively, he says in this tight race, more than a third of people aged 18 to 35 are leaning to the right. There just seems to be a movement afoot across the country and in BC towards the right. And that trend's been in the trench for a couple of years now. Many feel failed by current leaders. Younger generations in the past, you know, when they're in university or at that stage of life formation, there'd always been a sense, a greater sense of hope. We've had the NDP in government for a while and perhaps they're not seeing the change that they expected. This 19-year-old political science student says there's a hunger for change, but options are limited. Because I feel like now there's just like two choices. It's very polarized. Bolsters stress to swing this election, young voters would need to turn out in larger numbers than usual. Yvette Brand, CBC News, Vancouver.